Well hello everyone, welcome to another video. This time we are going to look at the Korg EX800. It's also known as a synth version with a keyboard as the Poly 800. Now Korg made this around, uh, well this particular one they made in 1984 but the actual Poly 800 came out in 1983. So this is really just an overview and I also need to give these buttons here a clean so we're going to open this up and take it apart so there's two parts of this video first part I just want to sort of touch on something really cool about this synth and that is that it's very unique in two special characteristics the DCO uh, you'll notice that it's got DCO1 and DCO2 is a square wave synthesis using an additive type synthesis and we'll get to that in a sec and the envelope generators or in this case we'll call the DEGs they're a very special envelope generator indeed and we're going to go into that later but hey let's go back to these DCOs first let's have a, a look at these so these are the factory patches that come with the EX800 and this basic patch <laughs> Sounds very sawtoothy like. But how can a square wave oscillator produce a sawtooth waveform? Well, let's just have a look on the oscilloscope now. And it's kind of sawtooth looking. But if we go to this little diagram that I've drawn for you guys today, you'll notice that it actually isn't really a sawtooth at all. What it is, is probably better known as a step wave. And basically how this synth generates a sawtooth wave is by combining harmonics at 16 feet, 8 feet, 4 feet and 2 feet at different levels. And you can see that kind of looks like that sawtooth shape. So there's the sawtooth shape there. It's very easy for it to produce a square wave. And it just has all of the harmonics at the same level. So the synth offers two waveforms and it calls it a saw wave, but it really is more like this kind of step wave. And you can see it with this diagram here. If we turn on all of the harmonics, you'll see that there's 16 steps to produce this shape at different levels. And you can go in and go a bit more crazy with this. You can actually turn any combination of all of these harmonics 16, 8, 4, 2, on or off. So if we go back to the actual front panel of the EX800, you'll see that it has 16, 8, 4, and 2 labeled on here for each DCO and they have the feature of being turned independently on or off. So you can make some crazy waveforms and they're really just kind of a subset of a, of a square wave or a funky square wave. Now the oscillators can be combined to produce uh, two oscillators and they can be detuned so it can sound very analog indeed or they can be combined in double mode to produce a four voice, sorry I should say before I do that, that the two a single oscillator would be eight voices and they combined in double mode to produce four voice. It also has a noise generator too, which is separate. It actually has stereo outputs on this as well and it does have a built-in chorus. It's the only effect this has. I'm not going to be using it in this demo anyway. 